this is Fjell and I'm back again with another Korean drama and this time it's on a Korean drama that I really really enjoyed and really love um, it is on this Korean drama right here and hopefully some of you guys actually recognize the poster and the characters this is reply 1997 or answer me 1997 so I'm gonna be doing a review on that today um, Got my little notebook here on what I want to say because I do really love this Korean drama and I have a lot of things to say. Um, like I said, the title is Answer Me 1997 or Reply 1997. They go on by both names. This is a Korean drama that aired on cable called TVN. It is a romantic comedy, also slice of life, specifically high school life in the 90s in Korea. And it was aired in 2012, probably about like, I would say three or four weeks ago when it ended airing there. This became a sleeper hit in Korea. Um, suddenly became so famous in pe like the demographic of 20 to their 30s just because it reminded them of nostalgia about their high school life. So um, this is starring Seo Inguk. He is a youngish singer in Korea. He is also an up-and-coming actor. He was on uh, this Korean drama Love Rain with Jung Yun Suk. Um, he's a minor character there. Also starring Jung Yun Ji. This is her first foray into acting, into drama, and she is from the Korean group A Pink. And also Hoya from Infinite, also another Korean pop group. This is also his first role. And also Yoon Ji Won, who I'm going to explain why I mentioned specifically on the starring list or cast list for this drama. A little bit of the plot. I'm going to do this really fast so my battery doesn't die or my memory card craps out. Um, this Korean drama centers on the lives of five friends um, in Busan, which is pretty much countryside um, area in Korea or the south. Korea. Um, as the timeline moves back and forth between their past in 1997-1998 to the um, present in 2012 and their high school reunion and when they're like in their 30s. Um, the main plot really involves um, Seyoing the character Yoon Jae and Shi Won uh, who is played by Jung Yoon Ji of A Pink and how they're best friends since birth and eventually that year 1997 Yoon Jae finds out that he has fallen in love with his best friend Shi Won so um but also there's a lot of secondary and tertiary story plots about the friends and um also their families and there's a very cute mystery in between of who's the baby daddy a um, little bit of a spoiler, we find out that she won during the reunion is pregnant and we kind of have this, you know, consistent episode by episode mystery kind of who is the husband thing. So it's a very cute part of the plot. Let's see, I actually gave this Korean drama a 5. Yeah, because I really love it that much. A 5 out of 5. Yeah. Um, I really loved the flashbacks to the 90s. It was very well done. I myself wasn't a teenager in the 90s, but I do appreciate how they're very consistent and you know the color schemes serve into the plot of the Korean drama. And it was there was a lot of attention to detail, and you kind of get the idea that this is a story written and directed produce, art directed, everything by people who lived their teenage years in the 90s in Korea and are now working, you know, in their specific fields, you know, in broadcasting, in drama production as 30 year olds or as late 20s. So you can tell that this was made by people who love that genre, who love that part of their lives. Um, there is also, like I said earlier, a consistent plot hook and kind of saying who ends up with who? Does Yoon Jae end up with Shi Won, you know, because they're, you know, she's his first love? Or is somebody end, gonna end up with somebody else and who's the baby daddy, pretty much? Uh, <laughs> or also who married who? There's also like that 
little bit side plot over there who ends up with who and all that shit is um it is very full of meta jokes jokes within jokes of the genre um like i said yun ji won is uh in this drama playing a high schooler when he's actually in his 30s um he is actually one of the original boy band members in korea he was part of um the idols in 90s which this drama does poke fun into um, there was a lot of like Easter eggs on pop culture that was very prominent in the 90s in Korea such as boy groups and girl groups of that era and also a lot of cameos by um, by the uh, what am I saying oh by the um, people that were actually you know really famous back then like Tony um, of the really famous Korean boy group HOT did a few cameos and you know um like i said it was written by people in their 30s for people in their 30s who are reminiscing about their high school years so that's what's really cute about that and i super love it because it's like a fun story to tell any like story that flashbacks into their youth is like i love those kind of stories um also the characters are very very well rounded but they're also very flawed like she won she comes across as this very passionate full of spirit who is this extreme fan um but she's very oblivious to her own feelings like pretty much she's very outward with her own passion about something but she's oblivious to how people feel about her which actually plays into part with her relationship with yunje who is her best friend since birth who she initially doesn't see as boyfriend material and yunje he's very smart loyal well spoken but he overthinks and he doesn't put out his emotions that well complete opposite of she won and he kind of chickens out on confessing and is confessing on his feeling feelings for she won a couple of times in this korean drama so um also jun hee who is played by hoya he is the best friend character um best friend of saying gets um character and he is very you know well understanding typical of a best guy best friend but also he's not you know he doesn't know how to express his own feelings um, and there is a little bit of a spoiler on that era that I'm not gonna say you guys you should just watch it and find out why Junhee is a pretty significant character on this Korean drama there's also a lot of subtle twists and a lot of like little flashbacks like little snippets of flashbacks that make you think you know how does this connect to those um, flashbacks to the 90s and into the story and how that's going to play out during the reunion scene so there's a lot of that and it's revealed very sparingly each episode so if you're hooked on the first episode you kind of keep on watching each of the episodes just because you want to find out hey you know what's going to happen to these characters you know like I said, who's going to end up with who. So that's the really interesting part of this Korean drama. Also, it's I love that it doesn't downplay the pains of growing up, the pains of being a teenager. It really has a smart and witty way of addressing like the issues that somebody would have as a teenager. And I think that's that's really cute. Like about you know first loves and you know like you have this crush on a guy but you can't really say that you like him. Or, you know, a guy who likes a girl, but he's, like, not very confident about confessing. So there's a lot of cute parts about that. Also, different kinds of love. Familial love. Loves be love between best friends. Love between a group of friends. So there's a lot of that. Main thing also, that love is timing. Um, this story spans, like, about 10 years of their life, almost. And there's a lot of, like questions about how you know is true love like it just depends on the timing or you know like that right exact moment so there's also a very cute provincial um dialect and accent which is the busan um uh, very like southern um accent which you're gonna not notice if you're a new korean drama watcher but it's very apparent if most of the Korean dramas you've seen are set in Seoul, which is the city, very more like softer, flashier way of speaking compared to Busan, which is more rougher and more of a dialect. Um, so 
it was like a cute tidbit for me. I like, you know, different accents in the drama. Um, there was a wonderful familial relationship between uh, Yoon Jae and his brother who plays a significant part in this drama also. As well as Shi Won and her parents and between those two friends just because Yoon Jae and his brother become orphans and Shi Won's parents kind of become his parents and kind of adopted him adopted him into the family so there's like that cute dynamic there there's also the you know I actually love the American series friends and there's that similar dynamic here that these there's a bond between this group of friends between the span of 10 years that can't easily be broken and you know they're going through the same coming of age story of you know their teenage years into their college years and into their professional lives and it's very genuine it's very full of heart you're just like you're watching this and you're just enjoying it just because it really tugs on your heart and you're like you know I remember doing all of those things in high school no matter what decade you went into high school and there's always that you know pull of the heart about nostalgia and thinking about the good old days and you know all the memories start flushing back and you just start crying and you just start laughing so there's that really cute part about it on this Korean drama um, drama recommendations I there's nothing really that's very close to the story um, for this drama you know aside from movies but actually very similar is shut up flower boy band um, also shown on TV and I believe and it's also a very good coming-of-age story but also a little bit on the musical side so hopefully you guys enjoyed this drama very quick but you know I have more to say about this Korean drama but I'm gonna spare you guys my rambling um, so go watch reply 1997 answer